Research asterisk has shown the time it takes for a parent's hair to catch fire is directly related to the length of time one's child tells knock-knock jokes in the car. That time is approximately one hour. Each of these weekend getaways is within a two-hour radius of Montreal. You're on your own for the second hour. Park Omega is a safari-style wildlife park that features Canadian animals, mostly from Quebec, like these grey wolves. It is in Montebello. Photo courtesy of Park Omega MONWP Montebello Are you going to Omega? The Bonacqua cashier asked a tourist who'd picked up 5 pounds of carrots. When she got an affirmative answer from the tourist, me, that is, she shook her head, you're going to need more carrots, we call Park Omega the human zoo, because people are caged in their vehicles while the locals wander along the paths, poking their noses in for a quick inspection, and a carrot, before moving on to the next human enclosure. The locals are 15 species of Canadian animals, elk, boar, bison, wolves, those last don't poke their noses into your car, thank heavens, and others. Most of the animals roam freely and have the option to melt into the forest when they've had enough human contact or if, like the bison, they just can't rouse themselves to care enough. Predators like grey and arctic wolves, bears and foxes are behind fences. There is a farm a short hay right away and two playgrounds for children to run off steam after all that time in the car, 399 Route 323 North, Montebello, 819-423-5487, parkomega.com While you're in Montebello, pop into one of the friendliest tourist info centers in Quebec for a map and briefing about the town. The center is in an old train station smack in the middle of the village, so everything you need is within a 15-minute walk. If you're not spending the night at Chateau Montebello, at least stop by to walk around and through the world's largest log cabin. And fill up at Snack at Delices Montebello, which serves fast food favorites with a twist, everything is made with local ingredients, including exquisite local cheeses. At the edge of downtown is the Bonacqua Grocery Store, and whatever you think, you're going to need more carrots. Visitors can tour the old Capleton Mine in North Hadley. Coda courtesy of Capleton Mine MONWP Coda Cook There are so many things to do in the Coda Cook area, you should save it for a long weekend, but if you do, book your room well in advance. Capleton Mine, a cool choice for a hot day, was struck by prospectors looking for gold who found copper instead. The discovery was made smack in the middle of the US Civil War, when the mineral was highly sought after. It closed in 1907 as other industries made headway in the region and lay dormant till the mid-1990s, when underground tours were organized by an enterprising local family. 5800 Capleton Road, North Hadley, 888-346-9545, Capleton.ca. Tours begin June 23rd. $8 to $46, Afraid of Dark, Enclosed Spaces? Maybe heights are more your thing, Parc de la Gorge on the banks of Cotacook River has the longest suspension footbridge in North America, at 169 meters, that's almost a soccer field and a half. It's among 20 kilometers of trails in the park, which also offers treasure hunts and force illumina, an after dark chance to be in the woods when the fairies come out to lead visitors with thousands of lights through the Garden of Wishes. 135 Michaud Street 888-524-6743, gorgecodacook.qc.ca $2 to $16, reservations are a must for Forced Illumina, La Salon Danton is a unique, old-style gaming parlor where larger games like Hopping Fleas and the Triangle were designed and built by local artisans. The salon attempts to please every game style, from luck to speed to family to skill, 115 Wellington Road 819-578-0805, salondanton.com. $6 to $8, Prehistoric World features 50 life-size dinosaurs made with reinforced concrete a so it is sturdy enough for children to hug them, a according to the owner. Photo by Haley Gell Haley Gell Morrisburg, owned for an all-day adventure, head to Upper Canada Village, an 1860s immersive experience that's a must-visit, especially for parents of a certain age who loved a little house on the prairie. 
13740 County Road 2, 800-437-2233, UpperCanadaVillage.com, $13 to $20, for and under free, not historic enough for you? We have just the thing. Prehistoric World is an experience, 37 years, give or take a few million, in the making. The owner greets guests with Welcome to My Backyard and offers the use of bug spray to people who forgot their own. There are 50 life-size dinosaurs in Surgeon Paul Depuis's backyard. Each was built with reinforced concrete, even though, it's terrible to sculpt with. It took the brothers two years to build the Brontosaurus. Although they stopped advertising some time ago, people keep on coming, there are picnic spots among the dinosaurs, and the one-kilometer walking trail takes an hour or two, depending on how excited your kids are to come face-to-toe with AT Rex at last. 5446 Upper Canada Road, 613-543-2503 Adults $10, children $6 Cash only, very few good adventures happen on the 401, so take old highway to home. Along the way are chip stands and garage sales, and Cooper Marsh Conservation Area is more than worth your time, it's a great halfway spot for a breather and to look for wildlife like frogs and chipmunks or even a loon. County Road 2, Summerstown, on, 613-938-3611, rrca.on.ca Free, but donations welcome at the Interpretation Center. The Forges du St. Maurice National Historic Site is built on the remains of the first iron industry of Canada. Photo courtesy of Parks Canada MONWP Shewinigan If you spend your days reminding yourself to keep your feet on the ground, it might be time to let loose. Do it with your feet a dozen feet in the air at D Arbor and Arbor. You are secured with safety ropes for 84 obstacle challenges like suspended bridges, paths, cargo nets, tars and vines and a 106-meter-long zipline, Lyle Melville Park, 866-536-7155, arborinerber.com. $11.45 to $30.45, right across the street is Cité de l'Energie, where the theme is global energy. You can get right into it with 20 interactive stations, plus La Planet Energy. There's a Hydro-Quebec observation tower with a panoramic elevator, and a pontoon crossing, and tons of other activities. Cirque Lois is there till August 18th with Neza, L'Enfant Pirate, 1000 Melville Avenue 866-900-2483, site at LNRG.com. $10 to $25 for the Science Center and Historical Tour, more for separate activities, my family are suckers for provincial and federal parks, so the Forges du St. Maurice is high on our list of must-sees. Built on the bones of the first ironworks in Canada, there's a creepy fountain, du Diable, which comes with its own ghost story, a 3D multimedia show and many more activities. Parks Canada sites are free for people 17 and under for all of 2018, 10,000 Boulevard des Forges Boulevard, Trois-Rivières, 888-773-8888, pc.gc.ca slash n slash lhn dash nhs slash qc slash St. Maurice. $3.90, Rock of Ages owns and operates several granite quarries in the U.S. and Canada. Photo courtesy of Rock of Ages MONWP Montpelier, Vermont. According to New England Today, Montpelier is the only state capital without a McDonald's. And that's fine, because you didn't come here for that. You probably came for the farmer's market and indie shops. Or maybe you came for all the free stuff, but we'll get to that later, for on your way home. We have a hundred Rock of Ages puns in a drawer at the office, but we know, you're very busy and we don't want to take that for granted. The quarry offers tours of the spectacular 180-meter deep smith quarry, but also a chance to watch artisans navigate the old and new worlds with diamond-tipped saws and precision grinders used side by each with hand tools used in much the same way as Michelangelo did centuries ago. And how boss is this? There's a granite bowling lane prototype on their grounds. You play with a rubber bowling ball, it turns out regulation balls eventually break when they're used on a granite lane, which is why the idea never took off. 
558 Graniteville Road, Graniteville, Vermont, 866-748-6877, rockvages.com. Free, but guided tours are $2.50 to $5 on your way home from Montpelier. Stay off the main highway to sample some of the region's best products. You can spend half a day tasting to determine exactly what you want to bring home. Chocolate, Lake Champlain Chocolate Store and Cafe. 2653 Waterbury Stowe Road, Waterbury Center, Vermont, 802-241-4150, LakeChamplainChocolates.com detour to their Burlington location for free self-guided and factory tours. Cheese Cabot Farmer Store, 2657 Waterbury Stowe Road, Waterbury Center, 802-244-6334, CabotCheese.coop. Cider and Donuts, Cold Hollow Cider Mill, 3600 Waterbury Stowe Road, Waterbury Center, 803 Apples, 803277537, ColdHollow.com. Whiskey and more, Smuggler's Notch Distillery, 276 Main Street, Jeffersonville, Vermont, 802-309-3077, smugglersnockdastillery.com. No matter how much planning you do via newspaper stories and scouring the internet, it's in your best interest to call first to make sure the information you have is accurate. Tourist info kiosks are truly your best friend. The staff are always friendly and generally they're local. No one knows their town or region better, asterisk the research cited above on Knock Knock Jokes is unscientific and was carried out in the car of a Montreal Gazette staffer. Here's one for the road. Knock Knock. Who's there? Alpaca. Alpaca who? Alpaca the suitcase, you load the car, Hajel at postmedia.com, twitter.com slash Hajul from late April to late October, there is a plastic box that lives in the way box of our little SUV. In it is everything we need for a spontaneous picnic, just add food. Start with a good quality plastic container with a lid that closes tightly. Here are the items we keep in the picnic go box for our family of four. Everything is sturdy and reusable. Four plates with rims so food is less likely to slip off into the grass. Four cups, three thick plastic mugs for coffee. Good quality plastic cutlery. A tablecloth or thin blanket for the grass. Instant coffee. Our favorite spices, salt, Montreal steak, lemon pepper, peppercorns. Napkins, small cutting board, knife and vegetable peeler. Corkscrew. A small reusable bag for dirty dishes, for easy transportation into the house and back to the car. You can set up a separate go bag to keep in the fridge with things like condiments and salad dressing that won't keep in the car for months. Make a picnic go box that can live in your car from spring to fall.